Um, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to make a sprint button for mobile. And um, yeah, so let's get into it. So you're going to go into your starter GUI and you're going to um, create a new text button inside of your screen GUI. Uh, you can make this look like whatever you want, but I'm going to rename it first to sprint button. Then I'm going to place this, like, over here, I guess. Um, and then I'm going to make this a bit smaller. I'm going to change the text to Sprint. going to change the font to Fredoka 1. You guys can change it to whatever you want. I'm going to turn on Text Scaled. I'm going to uh, add a UI corner and a UI stroke uh, oh yeah also remember to change the colour to whatever you want so I'm going to change it to this and then oh no whoopsies <laughs> UI stroke there we go um, and then the uh, change the apply stroke mode to border and set it to I think 6 it is yep 6 uh, or whatever you want and I'm going to place it there maybe like there so you can see the entire border um, and then, inside of this, you want to uh, put a script. So, uh, I'm going to add a local script, and you can just type the following. I'll have this in the description in a paste bin, so you guys can use it. So, I'm going to put local, local button equals script.parent. Then, uh, local, whoops, local player equals game.players.localPlayer I'm going to show the capital um, and then go down twice and do local uh, sp uh, speed equals 32 so that's 2 times speed uh, button dot activated oh no capital B whoopsies uh, remember button dot activated activated uh, connect function bracket local humanoid equals player dot character dot humanoid if not humanoid then return and then go down here and do if humanoid dot walk speed dot um, equals equals 16 then humanoid dot walk speed equals um, speed and then do else uh, humanoid dot walk speed equals 16 okay so you should be done here this should be it and yeah so now um i'm gonna click the x uh click play and now once we're in we can press sprint and it increases our speed turn off and it slows it down oh yeah also for uh the pc gamers uh you can uh there's a way to hide this button so um if you're on pc it will hide it and if you're on mobile it will show it so you can just go into your sprint button go into the script and above this you can do local um, user input service uh, equals game get service and then user input service and then you can go all the way down here and put in if user input service dot keyboard enabled then button dot visible equals false uh, and now you should be done here so if we click the x press play the button doesn't show anymore as i'm on computer uh, and also if you have any questions leave them down below or uh, suggestions you can also leave those down below um, remember to leave a like and subscribe and as always goodbye